properties of regression line the first property of regression line is that it passes through sample mean of x bar and y bar this can easily be proved using my normal equation 1 so my first normal equation that i derived was summation yi is equal to n beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat summation xi from here solve for beta 1 hat if i solve for beta 1 hat alternatively you know you don't even have to solve for beta 1 hat in fact from here you can directly divide throughout by n so if i derive directly divide throughout by n i will get the first value as y bar is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x bar now this means that i started with an equation which was yi is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi in its normal form and i came to an equation like this so this equation has the coordinates x bar comma y bar doesn't this mean this it has this coordinate right so you know if i have any regression equation which is of the form yi is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi this is my regression equation one of the coordinates when i put x bar in the equation in this equation i get the answer as y bar so one of the coordinates is x bar comma y bar and because this coordinate satisfies this equation my sample means uh, my regression line passes through the sample means so this is my first uh, property of the regression line second yi hat bar is equal to yi bar please try and understand this a bit see yi is my actual value of yi when i say actual value of yi i actually mean this you know it is inclusive of the error terms because so for example when i talked about my regression equation this right here is what you predicted so you predicted that for people whose income level is 800 the consumption on an average is let's say 700 the actual consumption of those people could have been 720 could have been 680 so these actual consumptions actually are my yi's but this right here the average that you predicted will be y i hat now we are saying that if i average out y i hat which is the mean of estimated y i's and the mean of actual y i's
the two are equal. This is the second property. Let's see how. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to write y i hat is equal to beta one hat plus beta two hat x i. Let's solve this further. I know that beta one hat formula is y bar minus beta two hat x bar. This is the formula of beta one hat. Plug this formula back in equation one. So putting equation two back in equation one. What will I get? I will get y i hat is equal to y bar minus beta two hat x bar plus beta two hat x i. This will be y bar. Plus beta two hat x i minus x bar. Now, take sum on both sides. If you take sum on both sides, submission y i hat is equal to submission y bar min plus beta two hat. X i minus x bar, right? I've just taken some on this side and some on this side. Is this fine? Open up the submission. This would be submission y bar plus submission beta two hat x i minus x bar. Take out beta two hat. This would be submission y bar plus beta two hat submission x i minus x bar. Because y bar is a constant and it is getting summed up n times, the sum would be n y bar. So instead of this, I can write n y bar. Plus beta two hat submission x i minus x bar. Now we know that whenever we have any variable and we find the mean of the variable, we subtract that mean from the variable and sum that off. So submission of deviations of any variable, anything. Is always zero. Let's see. Take an example. Just take a random example and check. Suppose x i takes five values: one, two, three, four, five. What will be the mean of x x i? The mean would be one plus two plus three plus four plus five divided by five. This is going to be three. What will be x i minus x bar? It will be one minus three, two minus three, three minus three, four minus three, and five minus three. Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Sum this off. So this will be zero, right? So which means submission x i is actually zero. This is exactly what I'm doing here. Let x take any value, any values. You find the mean, you find deviation, you sum the deviation. The deviation sum will always be zero. So you know, actually, you should know this. This is nothing but the first movement around, along, or around mean statistics concept, and the first movement around mean is always zero. Right? Okay. So nevertheless, coming back here, I know that submission x i minus x bar is zero. So this goes off. This becomes zero, and I'm left up with n y bar is equal to submission y i hat. This is also an important equation. A lot of times you have to directly use this equation. It's important. Now, once I'm clear with this equation. 
all that I have to do is just take n on the other side. So let's do that. If I take n to the other side, I will be getting summation y i hand by n is equal to y bar. This is nothing but y i hat bar mean is equal to y bar. So we have proved that the mean of the estimated y is equal to the mean of the actual y. That's the second property. Let's go to the third property, property number three. The mean value of the residuals ui is zero. So ideally, I'm saying submission ui hat is zero or submission ui is zero. This is for population regression function. This is for sample regression function. Few of the books would write the sample counterpart as submission EI is equal to zero, where EI would be the error terms in the sample and UI would be the error terms in the population. So, you know, either form, whether you want to use this form or this form, either of them would work. Again, this is very simple to prove. So I'm just going to use my normal equation. So from normal equation one, we know that, you know, and, and how did I get this normal equation one? When I was differentiating submission ui hat whole square with respect to beta one hat. And I was equating it to zero to find the optimal values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat, right? I just differentiated with respect to beta 1 hat and I differentiated it with respect to beta 2 hat and I equated it to 0. All right. So when I was doing this part, you know, because my Remember that submission ui hat whole square was submission yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi whole square. So submission ui hat whole square differentiated with respect to beta 1 hat would be submission 2, submission yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi into minus 1 equal to 0. Now, it's very simple. So, you know, minus 2 submission yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi is equal to 0 or submission yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi is equal to 0. We know that the regression equation yi is written as yi is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui or yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi can be written as ui hat. So instead of this thing right here, I can directly write ui hat. So I'm going to write this as or submission ui hat is equal to 0. So this becomes my proof. I have proved that the sum of the residuals or the mean value of the residuals is zero. Let's go to the next property, property number four. 